So another LEGO release day is just around the corner. June the 1st is just a couple of days away and I'm going to take you through all four of the LEGO Star Wars sets that will be dropping on shelves on June the 1st. And I've already done a video on all of the LEGO Harry Potter sets that are coming on June the 1st. This is the thumbnail for it. If you want to go and check that out, please do so after this video. And I'm going to start off with the first set coming out for LEGO Star Wars, which is 75390. And probably the only set that I won't be grabbing on June the 1st, which is the Luke Skywalker X-Wing Mech. This one is 195 pieces and clocks in at 12.99 here in the UK. Next up, and rather controversially, it's set number 75391. It's Captain Rex's Micro Fighter Y Wing. 99 pieces in this one, and 11.99 here in the UK. This set contains the supposedly exclusive to the Venator Captain Rex minifigure. And if, like me, you passed on the Venator at the back end of last year due to the price, you'll be rather pleased to see that it is exactly the same Captain Rex figure that is coming in this Micro Fighter. Despite the fact that it's going to give me the opportunity to grab a very exclusive figure, I do feel that LEGO potentially should have created a second Captain Rex figure for this Micro Fighter and stuck to the exclusivity that was specified in the Venator manual. Finally, and I will be grouping these two sets together, it's set number 75373, which is the Ambush on Mandalore Battle Pack, and this comes with a Mandalorian Warrior, a Mandalorian Night Owl, and two Imperial Commandos. Only 109 pieces in this set for 19.99. However, to incentivize buyers into purchasing this set, there is the ability to combine this with set number 75386. Paz Vizsla versus Moff Gideon and you'll get both of those characters in this particular set as well as two Imperial Praetorian Guards. $34.99 here in the UK and 289 pieces so not a brilliant price per piece ratio but you do get that Moff Gideon figure and it looks as though they've created a new helmet piece just for Moff Gideon as well which looks fantastic and as I said before these two sets can be combined together in a similar sort of Technic style that you would see with the Harry Potter modular buildings. I think this is a great idea from LEGO Star Wars in terms of getting sales and I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future we do see more sets that can be combined together. So that's all the sets for LEGO Star Wars releasing on June the 1st and as I've said before I already did a video on all of the LEGO Harry Potter sets that will be releasing on June the 1st and over the summer. I will be grabbing most of these sets myself as well and combining those two Mandalorian sets together over the next week or so so make sure you're following or subscribed to see those.